Welcome to Tyler's Garage. Today we're going to take a look at my RB600 steel pressure washer. I want to give a review on it and talk about some of the good features and some of the things that I don't like about it. That said, um, this pressure washer is actually made by not steel, but the company MTM, who is one of the largest pressure washer manufacturers in the United States. There's some good attributes about that, and I think there's some things that are not as good. That said, this steel shows that it was assembled in the United States. When you look at it, um, one thing that you'll notice on this one is how it's sort of inverted. Most have the pump, the engine in the front and the pump in the back. Yet, for whatever reason, when they designed and built this, MTM decided to do the inverse. The pump is in the front. As you look at it, this pump right here essentially is made, it's a proprietary MTM pump. It is not made by a different manufacturer like AR or CAT or anything like that. This is a pump that's made specifically by MTM for their pressure washers. I was looking on Amazon and found one of these replacements if you needed it for about $200. That said, the engine, as we look at it, is a Kohler seven horsepower engine. So it's badge steel there with the RB600 logo. However, we all know that this simply is a Kohler seven horsepower engine um, and it is mated to this pump. When I use it, it always starts up, it works well. It has no issues in terms of the performance of the engine or the performance of the pump. My complaints more come through some of the exterior things about the unit. One of it is its size. It has this exoskeleton cage, as you'll notice, as we look at it, which is neat. However, it makes the, make it sit much larger than other pressure washers out there. And I always store my pressure washers inside the garage all the time due to not wanting to have any problems with the pump. And so this causes and costs, you know, space, which is something valuable, especially in your garage. That said, it looks cool, but it, I think that it's not necessarily the most practical of applications. Also, the tires on there seem to go flat every year. So that's constantly, even though they have inner tubes in them, I constantly have to, um, to refill them. Also on there, the handle uh, for the wand I don't think is that comfortable. After using it for hours on end, it can sometimes um, be a little tiresome and it doesn't seem like the best quality. The Command Pro engine is a seven horsepower engine and I believe that it is actually manufactured for Kohler in China. I'm not sure on the country of origin for the pump. However, I would not be surprised if it was sold overseas or produced overseas. I looked at the power washer uh, surface cleaner that steel made, however, it was plastic. And after doing more research, I found this metal version that I think works a lot better. And it was um, about the same price as the steel pressure washer accessory. Also, the water broom is nearly identical to a knockoff I found on Amazon for the same price, or much cheaper, excuse me. One disappointing thing about the pressure washer are the hoses. They are made in China and they refuse and kink and have other issues where they just basically are hard to work with because they maintain their shape and they are just challenging to work with. In review, I think this is a good pressure washer. However, I think it's overpriced. You can purchase an MTM version of this with the same engine and the same pump for about $150 to $200 less. What I realized purchasing this was that you're paying for the steel branding. And while that may be important, the thing about it is the steel branding is, there's nothing 
steel on here. It's all other companies that have gone through and worked with steel. As you can see in my garage, I love steel. That said, um, you know, I plan in the future to probably replace this with the Pressure Pro 13 horsepower um, belt driven GX390 with a cat pump. It's about the same size and it will have more power and I think it's a better built unit. That said, thanks for checking out Tyler's Garage today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to send a comment and please do subscribe and I hope you have a wonderful day.